The Nikwa Valley Orchestra's dance company has been working extremely hard the past seven months to prepare for their showcase coming up in one week. The dancers spend countless hours in rehearsals choreographing, cleaning, and perfecting their dances to put on the best possible show. It's really interesting to see what the dances look like between May when they audition and then January or February when they're put on stage. First of all, just the choreographers audition their choreography. So when we see the audition, the audition only has two or three people in it. And we need to visualize the dance with sometimes 15 to 20 people in it. They add a lot of different layering. And then of course, when they add the costumes and the lighting, that changes a lot as well. The dancers and directors spend many months preparing for the show, but one of the most important weeks of this process is their tech week. So the week before the show is called our Tech Week. Everyone on Orxis loves Tech Week. I love Tech Week. I'm really looking forward to it. At this point, it's really, it's really fun because all the dances are done. You just get to see everything come together and get really excited because the show is really soon. You do lighting, staging, costumes, all that good stuff. I think everyone can expect to see a group of very talented dancers. We've been working really hard since August and there's a bunch of fun moments. We have the partner dance, the parent dance, so that's always really fun to see. The Orcas' showcase is taking place in the main auditorium on February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at 7 p.m. Make sure to get your tickets now because these dancers have put together an amazing show that you don't want to miss. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Chloe O'Keefe.